Hey, welcome to the Switch City Collective presentation. I'm Paul, and today we've got something from my Nostalgic Diecast playlist. Something that I happen to like because I have a thing for local livery diecast and things that remind me of the real world. That's why I brought out the one, the uh, supposedly S scale Plasticville supermarket made by Bachman, I believe it was. That was my father's. He got it in the 50s as one of the last Christmas gifts, or big Christmas gifts, as he always said, the last, his true with his transit, the last big Christmas gift he ever got. And uh, it looks about 161, it looks about the right scale for those cars, because these are my mini, couple of my mini GTs. It's got Stan Grit standing there outside. The only problem is the doors, according to the internet on the building, the doors are 143rd scale or 148th, I'm not sure which, I don't remember. So the doors are a little out of scale, but the building, that looks pretty. That looks pretty good to me. Let's take a look. Gotta make a nice little display, don't you think? The Plasticville supermarket. Put you back on it. Back on the easel, so that I can uh, get to get to what we're here for. The one sixty fourth scale Ertl tractor trailer truck in Shaw's supermarket livery. If you don't know, if you're not from the New England area, Shaw's is a New England area grocery store. It's part of the, I want to say the Safeway. Albertsons chain. So if you play their game, if you play their Monopoly game, and you see the logo on the bottom of the of the little game sheet, you'll see the Shaw's logo. It's New England. I don't know why in this country we don't bother having very much having national supermarkets, but that's that's another that's another story. We're gonna take a look at this heavy all metal trailer. It's a refrigerator unit. These add, but the only plastic on here are the wheel hubs, the landing gear. This part here and the refrigerator unit. So this is a 164 scale refrigerator unit or reefer truck or reefer unit. It has Shaw's good food cost less quality since 1860. If you're from this area, you might beg to differ where good food costs less, but that's just it has nothing. It has nothing to do with the current world situation and the inflation. But it's another story. The trailer is the same on both sides. Again, it features a real uh, rubber tires with. Ertle, uh, Ertle embossed in them, so they're Ertle tires. It has an opening door. You can't really go too far in there because of the way it's constructed, but I think it's more just for, more just a showpiece or a shelf thing and something to play with because if you threw this at somebody, it, it would hurt because it's a solid metal chassis, solid metal box. I don't exactly know how old this one is. I bought it secondhand off eBay quite a while ago and just got around to looking at it now because it's still kind of hard to find new stuff in the store. And I don't like to pay for shipping, so that's why I don't do a whole lot of new... or I don't buy new stuff on online. I'd rather buy older stuff or things I can't... No, I, I know I can't get in the store. So now it's time for the truck. It's a 164 scale, as I said before. Again, the real rider, the real rubber tires or the hard... Pla some kind of hard plasticky stuff it's got a plastic chassis metal uh this part uh all the teal is metal this has been painted orange i don't know what brand of truck this is if someone can tell me based on the grill it looks like it could be a volvo but i'm not entirely certain i'm not a truck guy by any means we got some molded horns and some lights this air diffuser air deflector has the shaw's logo as do the doors has a blacked out window, so there's no interior. It's got a nice fifth wheel. It just fits in with a, the truck. The tractor just fits in with a peg. It makes it hard to put on the shelf where I keep it above my display case, but I manage. So yeah, this is the 164th scale Ertl box, uh, not box truck, tractor trailer in Shaw Supermarket livery. I'm going to ask you to like, comment, subscribe. I will thank you for watching, and I will say that I'll tell you I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.